Long overdue vlogs. Footage I shot quite some time ago, but didn't get around to finally editing till much later. It's long overdue vlogs. So sure, California Adventure has their food and wine festival going on. Sure, Boys and Berry Fest is gonna start soon at Knox. Even SeaWorld has some sort of craft beer thing going on. But why go to any of those places when you can go to Claremont, California for Pie Festival? Like all aspiring internet celebrities, we tend to spend our weekends in Claremont. What celebrity weekends in Claremont? Because we love the Claremont Village, which is basically a real-life Main Street USA, just nostalgic for a few decades later. Although it has both the Carl Lemley Theater and a Lance Building, so it's more of a lower-key Universal City Walk. Universal Village Walk? I don't know. Whatever real-world theme park location of yours it is, there's still an out-of-place Starbucks. But there's only a few mega-chains in the village. Most of Claremont is filled with utterly charming small businesses run by local business owners. And one of these small businesses is our favorite dessert place in town, I Like Pie. Who do you prefer in the polls, Carl Krasinowicz or Johnny Bravo? I like pie. <laughs> Okay, it's not just a dessert place, they also have chicken pot pie and other savory pies that'll serve you well for a meal, but man is it ever a fantastic dessert place. Their cookie butter pie is the most delicious dessert I've ever had in my entire life. And they have quite the impact on the community because on March 25th, 2019, the entirety of Claremont Village was turned over to the annual Claremont Pie Festival. There's such a lovely gathering of pies and pie people. Streets were blocked off as simply everybody descended on the village. So this is like, a, this is giving us a brief version of what Galaxy Dance is going to like. <laughs> <laughs> Star Wars Galaxy's Crust. <laughs> there were countless tents and booths set up, including a few booths for I Like Pie, less than two blocks away from their main store, plus a few booths for pie places from out of town. There were also some cake places, which I don't trust because they're clearly trying to cross enemy lines and gather intel for the inevitable cake versus pie war. Cake will always be superior to pie. Then it should have its own festival, Paul! Okay, I understand the pun intended by the title Nothing Bunt Cakes. Yeah. But it doesn't track because it makes it sound like the Bunt Cakes are nothing. Yeah. They're like, eh, they're fine. <laughs> they're, they're, they're nothing Bunt Cakes. I could go for one of those cheesecakes, I think. All right. They are strawberry, strawberry with a chocolate covered strawberry on top. That is very strawberry. Very strawberry. Yeah, there were other desserts, which I guess could be paired with pie, including a booth for our second favorite dessert place in town, Burton Rocky's Ice Cream. <laughs> Well. Yes, indeed. There were also other food booths and trucks, some of which not only weren't pie, they weren't even dessert. What, you think we need nourishment for a long day out in the sun? No, it's all about the pie festival. They're taking pie into directions here. Yeah. It's a deconstruction of what a pie can be. Yeah. Honey, that's that can go in a pie. Yes. All she holds on. A lactose intolerance nightmare here. And there were some craft boots and merch boots, although some of the crafts at least had a pie theme. Some very much didn't. Not even a little bit. But there were still some fun crafts and merch, pie adjacent or not. Now why isn't there a similar bag for his Arrested Development character? <laughs> and some booths were just standard promotional booths you'll get at any local festival. You could have at least had pictures of pie to keep it on theme. That's not a pie, that's a car. It's really more of just a Claremont Festival sponsored by pie. But it wasn't just foods, even the stores that live here were part of the festival. Several of the local businesses had exclusive pie recipe cards you could only get by visiting each store. This is my own small business, I'm a featured vendor here in the shop, and they're all um, inspired by the flavors of Spain for your everyday cooking. Of course, by the time we got to most of them, they were out of recipe cards. But we could take pictures of the display cards to learn the recipes that way. Also part of the festival was the classic car show, and it was fun to see all these vintage vehicles when they're not taking up all the good parking spots at Bob's Big Boy. And one of these cards was chauffeuring some old friends from Ardman. Now shouldn't they be at a cheese festival? <laughs> now why wasn't that in the classic car show? And like any festival, the day was full of all sorts of activities. There was plenty of entertainment throughout the town, including musical performances of various sizes, styles, and ages. 
And in the park, there was a retro fashion show, really steering into the aesthetic of the whole town in a fun way. I'm a sweet, petite vintage treat, and I'm the current Miss Moon Eyes. One of my favorite parts of the pinup lifestyle is the clothes, and I live by the motto, I like my money where I can see it, hanging in my closet. <laughs> I'm an MC, a semi-professional cupcake taster, makeup artist, and aspiring comedian. My pinup inspirations are Lucille Ball, Mae West, and Marvelous Mrs. Maisel because I love women that can tell a good joke and look good doing it. Yes! And yes, of course, there was a pie-eating contest, why wouldn't there be? And there were cooking demonstrations from the guest of honor, Lisa Ludwinski, founder of Sister Pie in Detroit, who gave some pie-making tips. So now it's time for the liquid. Um, this is a half cup of liquid. Uh, it's hard to tell, but it has a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it. So we add apple cider vinegar. It, people used to say that adding apple cider vinegar kind of created a flaky crust because it inhibited the gluten formation. But when I wrote this cookbook, I realized I better really know what I'm talking about. And so I did some research and, and learned that, that that myth is really just a myth. Um, but we like to use the apple cider vinegar because it imparts a really nice tangy flavor on the crust. And also, it's just kind of a fun thing to do for tradition's sake. She also signed copies of her book so we could all make pie at home. I want to attempt that when I know that like my 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 skills to crimp and like you know braid and stuff are really like if not top notch like in good condition. You want to work your way up to that? Yeah. I mean, we could just keep practicing and that can be your nailed it audition. There we go. Here's like a, just like a pie that is just too good for you. Yeah. Like this pie. It's like, it's like I don't deserve this pie. Yeah. That, that is this pie right there. Oh my god, that is just straight up pornography. <laughs> this video needs an explicit tag now. Hi! Hi! How are you? Good, how are you? Who should I make this out to? Um, Allie. Allie? Allie? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, I've been following guys on uh, Insta for a while, so it's just nice to get to see this in person. But we couldn't leave the festival without having some pie here, too. So after spending a few hours exploring the rest of the offerings, we were more than ready for pie. We knew we weren't going to sample all the various pies, but we figured we'd broaden our horizons and try something from a new out-of-town pie place. But by the time we were ready to snack... I'm sorry? Are you interested in pie? Oh, all right. We're out. We're oh. sold out. Everybody's sold out. I like pie and has pie. Oh, I like well, pie and pie of course. They, yeah. Well, because their kitchen is so close, they yeah, can stock like they up. Have an yeah. Yeah. They've got home yeah. field advantage. Yeah. Exactly. I even brought replacements out, but it's like it's still. It, yeah. it was it was our it was our mistake for sleeping in. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Hi. Do you have any pie? We're sold out. Oh, all right. No worries. I have aprons left. Oh, okay. My linen apron. All right. Cool. Thank you. And how did the aprons taste? <laughs> Okay, so after exploring the overly crowded vendor's way multiple times and trying to broaden our horizons and try a new pie place that's not always in this town, all the other pie places were out of pie, so we went back to our old standard of I like pie. And what did you get here, honey? Uh, strawberry rhubarb. Strawberry rhubarb. I thought we would branch out into the yes, fruit pie if, this time. If, if we have to be stuck with our normal pie place, at least we can get not our normal pie. Dave, as some of you may know, is a bit of a cookie butter monster, so he really enjoys the cookie butter pie here. Mm. But this is good. Mm. I didn't know I was a cookie butter monster until we first came to I Like Pie. Mm. If you want some hot fruit, this is a good way to get it. <laughs> hot fruit is my teen and Sarah cover band. I can get away with saying that joke. No one else can. <laughs> I'm too straight to be allowed to say that, <laughs> but... <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. It's a nice... Mm -hmm. The thing I like about this one, which I like all of this stuff, but I like pie, but it's a pumpkin and it's a little too sweet for me. Mm -hmm. This one, because it's the fruit, I think, mm -hmm. it's got a nice tang to it which I can appreciate, which kind of makes it feel taste a little more complex. It's also, generally the pies that we've had at I Like Pie so far are either very specifically savory or very specifically sweet. Mm -hmm. Like we'll have the quiche or whatever for breakfast, which has no sweetness in it. And then we'll have the cookie butter for dessert, which is pure sweetness. And 
So the fruit pies are the best way to get like right in the middle, the, the, the rhubarb. It makes me want to taste the, the hand pies that they offer, which are a little bit more fruity. They do a little something different with the crusting, so. Very solid. Definitely want to try and get this again before um, rhubarb is out for the season. We're we'll trying to make one of these. Because I believe there is a recipe for uh, strawberry rhubarb pie in the sister pie book that we got today. Mm. A book from a completely different pie establishment. <laughs> exactly. All the way in Detroit. We must go there next time. Do you know what it is? To Detroit? Yeah. Do you know what Michigan? Um, we'll go for the Detroit Improv Festival. There and, we go. Uh, See if uh, Paul Tompkins and uh, Mark Evan Jackson yeah, are performing. I mean, Mark Evan Jackson will be there because it's his uh, charity that the, fest that <laughs> the festival is there for. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that they do the jelly, the jelly jar style pies as opposed to the slices because it's kind of a little bit more self-contained and neater. Yeah. It's like a personal pan pie. Mm -hmm. Purple pan pie. Well, I talk about how my favorite thing that I like pie, the cookie butter, is basically a cup of pudding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, hot tip: If you really want to go to the go to the edges, I like to say, get the cookie butter pie here, but do it as their pie cream, mm -hmm. which is a milkshake and a with a pie slice in it, basically. It is wild. They mix a scoop of Burton Rockies in there and it's, um, it is a lot. Okay, this was a good pie. Yeah. Let's pick. And a good flaky crust. Mm -hmm. I'll flake your crust. Really? In public? <laughs> The pie festival is clearly popular since demand far outweighs supply on pie and pie recipes alike. And while I joked about how loosely connected to pie the festival was, it really was a fun day. And it's nice to see all these small local businesses come together and support each other to put on a good time for the community. This year's pie festival is coming up on March 21st, and for future dates, keep checking ClaremontPieFestival.com. And in the meantime, if you find yourself in the Claremont area, pop into I Like Pie for a snack. Seriously, cookie butter. It'll change your life. Attacked by a banner. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, let me use it.